In this video, we will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of using the VibraSense Plus T device for sensory testing. Before using the VibraSense Plus T device, ensure it is fully charged. To power on the device, slide the switch on the side to the on position. The device will start up, displaying a splash screen, followed by the home screen. On the App Store, search for the Vibra Connect Plus T app by Ayati Devices. Download and install the app, then launch it. When prompted, enable Bluetooth and GPS permissions for the app. Switch on the VibraSense Plus T device during registration. Tap the register button and fill the required details in the form. In the device serial number field, scan for the device and pair it. Click the register button to complete registration. Once registration is successful, log in by entering your registered email address and the device serial number. This will take you to the app dashboard. Sensory testing. On the app dashboard, tap new test. On the patient registration screen, click click here for new patients. Enter the patient's details and tap register. Select the tests and the sites and then tap the start test button at the bottom of the screen. The first selected test will appear on the app screen. Avoid interacting with the screen. Now proceed to perform the tests with your device. Vibration perception threshold testing. With the vibration test highlighted, press the center button to select it. Next, choose your testing method. In the method of limits, the units will increase by one, while in the method of levels, they will jump to preset levels. This is the vibration perception test screen, where the default setting will display position P1 and VPT0. Proceed to test at the selected position P1. Place the probe on the testing point, P1, ensuring that it is perpendicular to the skin surface and gently touching it. Instruct the patient to indicate when they feel the buzzing sensation. Slowly increase the amplitude of the vibration stimulus using the up arrow until the patient confirms feeling the sensation. After testing at P1, press the PR button to save the recorded data and bring up position 1 on the screen. Use the up arrow to select the next position P2. Press PR again to lock in this position for testing. Repeat the testing procedure at P2 by increasing the vibration stimulus until the patient feels it. Continue testing at P3 and P4, following the same steps. Once all four points have been tested, you're ready to save the data. Bring the device close to your smartphone or tablet and long press the PR button. This will generate a VPT summary report on the device screen and also send the VPT data to the app. The VPT report, including a graph, will be generated in the app. Warm Perception Threshold Test Press the Next button below this report on the app screen. This will take you to the next test screen. On the device, first single press the PR button once, then long press the center button to go to the home screen. This will take you to the home screen with the previous test conducted highlighted. Use the up or down arrows to highlight the warm test and click on the center button to select it. Then select the method of testing. This is the warm perception test screen. The default position will be P1 and WPT will be by default set to a baseline of 32 degrees C. Wait until the probe reaches the WPT set point. Place the probe on the testing point, P1. Ensure that it is perpendicular to the skin surface and gently touching it. Instruct the subject to indicate when they feel a warm sensation. Gradually increase the probe temperature using the up arrow 
until the subject confirms feeling the warmth. After testing at P1, press the PR button to save the recorded data and bring up position 1 on the screen. Use the up arrow to select the next position P2. Press PR again to lock in this position for testing. Then repeat the procedure at P2, increasing the warm stimulus until the subject confirms feeling it. Proceed to test at P3 and P4. Once all four points have been tested, you're ready to save the data. Bring the device close to your smartphone or tablet and long press the PR button. This will generate a WPT summary report on the device screen and also send the WPT data to the app where the WPT report, including a graph, will be generated. Cold Perception Threshold Test Press the next button below the report on the app screen to proceed to the next test screen. On the device, first press the PR button once. Then, long press the center button to return to the home screen. The previous test conducted will be highlighted. Use the up or down arrows to highlight the cold test and press the center button to select it. Then, choose your testing method. The default position will be P1 and the CPT will be set to 32 degrees Celsius baseline. The probe temperature will be displayed on the right. Wait until the probe reaches the CPT set point. Place the probe on the testing point, P1. Instruct the subject to indicate when they feel a cold sensation. Gradually reduce the probe temperature using the down arrow until the subject confirms feeling the cold sensation. After testing at P1, press the PR button to save the recorded data and bring up position 1 on the screen. Next, use the up arrow to select the next position, P2. Press PR again to lock in this position for testing. Then repeat the procedure at P2, reducing the temperature until the subject confirms feeling cold. Proceed to test at P3 and P4. Once all four points have been tested, you're ready to save the data. Bring the device close to the phone and long press the PR button. This will generate a CPT summary report on the device screen and also send the CPT data to the app where the CPT report, including a graph, will be generated. Click on the Next button at the bottom of the screen to access the final summary report in the app. To generate the final report in PDF format, click on Create PDF at the bottom of the screen.